Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I'm going to play with my alcohol inks to create a lovely background and then I'm going to show you how you can quickly turn this into an art journal layout. So let's get started. I'm working on Yupo paper and I have applied my blending solution first just to make sure that everything is nice and wet. Now I'm going to apply three different colors of alcohol inks and you can see the names on your screen. I made sure that the colors that I apply, they are not going to make mud when they are next to each other. Now I'm going to use my straw and I'm going to blow, forcing these inks to blend. Just because I have the blending solution on my surface, it makes this uh, technique super easy. The inks are not going to dry instantly, which gives me a window of uh, blowing time. Alcohol inks are mediums that uh, they have a mind of their own. They are really difficult to control, but uh, the only thing you can do is to make sure that uh, you are not going to use colors that will make mud. So now I'm going to stop blowing and I'm going to leave this piece to dry. When alcohol ink dries on Yupo paper, it gets sticky in some areas, mainly in the areas where you get concentrated ink. So I'm going to use one of uh, the techniques I've seen on YouTube. This is really great. I am going to use some foiling and I'm using silver foiling here. I'm going to apply it over the sticky areas. The foil is going to stick on random areas, which is going to give a lovely organic look and shine. Now, make sure that uh, you try this technique a couple of times. You will find that sometimes instead of uh, adding um, foiling on your project, you might lift ink that isn't dry yet. But that's not a problem. Just uh, wait a little bit more and then apply the foiling on top again. I'm going to try and catch the light for you so you can see all the shine that I got. Now I'm really happy with my background, I absolutely love these gorgeous colors and I'm going to show you how you can turn this quickly into an art journal layout. So all I'm going to do is uh, to add some stamping in different areas and I'm using a stamp set that I have used again and again in my latest videos. It's great for adding texture, visual texture at the background and uh, that's the Etc. by Tim Holtz. I'm stamping everything with Black Archival ink. I had no problems with stamping with this ink on top of Yupo. It's going to dry permanent and uh, it's not going to smudge or smear. And I'm going to continue stamping in different areas using stamps from the same stamp set. Now if you stamp your focal point with black on top of uh, such uh, a background, you will find that it helps all those colors to pop even more. I'm going to use this stamp set, this is by Tim Holtz, it's a new stamp set and it's called Theories. I absolutely love these designs uh, and I am actually planning to do the same technique that I did today with different colors of ink on the background and using all the stamps included. So now I'm going to stamp this on top and I'm using my uh, stamping platform here just because I will need to stamp a couple of times to make uh, sure that uh, my image is nice and crisp. It is a solid black stamp and my page is uh, actually Yupo which means that it's not going to stamp perfectly the first time so I'm going to do it one more time. And as you can see, the string that this guy is working on is not all the way to the edges. So I'm going to use an alcohol marker and just continue this uh, line all the way to the edge. Now this beautiful paper that I'm working on is uh, smaller than a 6x6 six six page and I'm planning to stick it on one of uh, the pages that I have on my 6x6 six six, uh, disc bound art journal. And I'm just covering up the edges so that I have a black uh, border all around. I'm just using uh, black acrylic paint here. Now you can call this layout done. It's uh, really pretty as it is. You can start writing down your thoughts or stamp your quote. I decided to add uh, some more elements on top of it and these days I'm actually in love with uh, design tapes. I think they add uh, texture quick and easy. And uh, I'm going to build up some of those on one on top of the other. This is a set that is called Chatter. It comes with many design tapes in dip different widths with different designs. And I actually have um, some foiling, silver foiling on my background. So I'm going to use one of the silver design tapes here, which is going to bring everything together. 
Now actually this is the first time that I'm using alcohol inks for an art journal background and I absolutely love the results and that's why I'm planning to make similar pages with the rest of the stamps in the stamp set but just using different alcohol links for the background and I make sure to share everything with you. In the stamp set there are quotes that you can use on your projects that uh, go perfectly with the designs but I decided to go with something bigger and bolder so I'm going to use my trusted uh, quote chips. I like them because they are nice and big, they give lots of options and um, they are actually dimensional and I always like to have something popping up on my projects. To make sure that all these quotes are going to stick nicely on top of Yupo paper, I'm using a strong double-sided tape and I'm going to add three different uh, chip quotes on my project. So the first one reads, be brave. The second, believe in yourself. And the third one, follow your heart. And as I said in the beginning, this is going to be a super quick and uh, simple art journal layout. So all I need to do is to just stick this uh, Yupo paper on top of uh, my actual page. So I made sure that when I cut it out, it was smaller than uh, the 6x6 pages that I have on my disc bound journal. I believe this is 5.5 uh, probably. I'm going to stick that on top of the page that I have prepared and I will end up having a lovely border all around it. And that was the layout for today. I hope I have inspired you to create beautiful backgrounds with your alcohol inks and then quickly turn them into art journals just by stamping on top with black ink. It's going to help the colors of your background to pop even more. Here are some close-up photos of the project that I made today. Don't forget that you can find the full list of all the supplies that I used today down below in the description area. All alcohol ink supplies are on sale right now in most of the shops that I'm linking below, so make sure to check the prices. Thank you all so much for watching and have a lovely day!